Hello, Based on Robust Network, Sci-Fi Guy here. The teaser trailer for Avatar The Way of Water, also known as Avatar 2, has just released and the CGI looks amazing. So I thought I'd put this video together really quickly just to compare and contrast a few of the improvements that we've seen in the last 13 years. So here we have a still from the new teaser of Avatar The Way of Water and as you can see it's Neteri. Now in comparison, the, this is a Neteri from the original movie. There are a few really massive improvements that have been made. Noticeably, the reflections in the eyes, the level of detail in the skin. You can see hair follicles. You can see the pores. The overall ray tracing is obviously massively improved. It's really night and day. Or you might say night and day. Okay, but seriously, look at the difference here. Original Neteri, she looks great for her time, but this new image of Neteri... It's just on another level. One area that it's really also obvious, these improvements, is in the differences between Jake in the teaser, as you can see here, and Jake in the original, as you can see here. The texture level on his skin, if you take a look at his right shoulder, it's very glossy, very shiny. Also notice that his face has roughly the same detail as the rest of his body, that a lot of the close-up shots in the original Avatar were really good for the detail, but in some of the mid shots, it wasn't quite as great. Whereas if you compare it with this shot here, the quality is higher. The skin glossiness looks far more natural. And even the clothes sit on him far better. Now, another shot that I'm really excited about, that maybe is the most exciting for me in the teaser versus the original, is this one. This shot of them going up the vines. There are so many improvements here that can be talked about. Firstly, just the level of detail. If we look at the original, you can tell that the vines themselves are very much in a lower detail. The background is shrouded in fog. And this is really important because, and you'll see this in a lot of the other scenes too, fog is used to cover up things in the distance. Whereas in the new version, everything's so much deeper. There are multiple layers to this. The distance, the rendering distance has obviously been massively improved. You can see things that are not only one layer behind, but are many, many layers behind. And this is something that I'll highlight later in the video as well. Just the, the level of difference between the depth of the image in the teaser versus what the limitations were in the original. Another bit where it's really obvious of the level of detail that you that we've seen an improvement of is the in these shots here that if you look at this shot in comparison to again another shot of flying from the original take a look at the background it's blurrier there's less detail it seems almost more zoomed in that here there's it's so wide you can see so much there's such a high level of detail on the seabed the there's ocean surface the fish in the sea and of course the family flying Whereas here, there's less depth, less detail. And again, even the shine and the level of detail that we see on the textures is ultimately lower. You might say there are probably three different layers to this. There's the Ikran, there's the cliffside, and then there's the forest below. So I think that based on what we know of the limitations that James Cameron was working with in 3D on the first movie, that was probably around the maximum he could use, about three distinct layers. Whereas if we move to this shot, there's at least eight different layers here. You have this one that's really close to you in the kind of spider drone working on the right hand side. Then you've got this pa the panels that are moving further back. You can physically see the difference in, in between each one. The, then you hit the worker. The, the two avatars walking with the guy in the exosuit. And let's not even talk about the fact that Quaritch is back yet. That will be coming in, in a later video. And then the next it layer, we have the tanks, the large structure behind even that, and the red building. And then all the way in the back, you can see this giant silo. And that's just some, not something that he could ever really do on the original movie. That there was always the 3D limitations too. So it's important to rem remember or at least consider that in this movie, it's not just a huge leap in terms of the CGI levels that James Cameron is going to present to everyone. The level of 3D, the intricacy of 3D, 
that 3D technology has also been taken to another level. So while we're talking about the new human elements that are included in the teaser, there's also this beautiful shot. Now, this is another one of those really wide, very detailed shots with loads of layers, lots like the last one. And then maybe this is Hell's Gate, maybe it's something entirely new. But I just think the, the contrast between this particular one and what we got to see of the human settlement in the original, it's another one of those that's the difference is almost jarring. I mean, just look at this. There's, again, maybe the three different layers. You could maybe argue four. You've got Jake in the foreground, then Wayne Fleet standing on the ramp, the main RDA base, and then kind of in that really far background, you've got all these refineries. But even then, it doesn't really look that great. The difference between Jake and everything else is very, very obvious. In fact, this almost kind of reminds me of what we're currently seeing out of a lot of the kind of consumer corporate filmmaking at like the MCU. It's just, again, James Cameron was limited by the technology. If you contrast this with what we're seeing here, the level of detail and depth is huge. You've got the Samson flying towards the screen. You've got all of these details in the background, the railroad running across the middle of the screen the base behind that, the construction even further behind that, and then even further behind that, all the way in the distance, there's these huge open pits where they're obviously quarrying something. The difference in detail, he, James Cameron's really, really just taken this entire thing to a whole new level. He has, in his classical sense, raised the bar. So guys, that's pretty much my initial uh comparisons between the new teaser and the original movie please check out my edit of the uh, the new trailer uh using footage of the original avatar on my channel you can also check out a side by side video that i've made of the new teaser with that footage so you can really see the differences yourself in real time um overall i have spent a lot of time as you all know hyping myself up for this movie and it's even exceeded my own expectations. I think that what James Cameron has to show us is going to blow our minds. And uh, yeah, I, I couldn't be more excited. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you liked the video. Uh, check out the Discord. The link is in the description below. And have a great day.